Hey guys, Sean here with a quick video for you. I had a request from uh, Chris McNally on the inside of my kegerator. To, he wanted to see how it all fits in there and how it's all connected, so I thought I'd uh, record a short video and, and uh, showing the connections inside of here. It might be a little dark in some of the areas, so I'm going to bust out a flashlight and hopefully you guys can see it. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, first thing we're going to show you is, uh, I'll just open it up so at least you can see it. Um, we'll take our little drip tray off. And then we'll crack it open. And you can see I got two corny kegs inside there pretty comfortably. And uh, I've only got one beer in one of them right now, but um, you can see it that two of them fit in there just nicely and I even left the door panel on there without having to cut it out or anything like that so that it still closes relatively simply and this one's empty but it, you can see that it fits and we pull that out and uh, there's some piping inside there that you can see so you can see how I've sort of got that connected in there. I've got the hose that comes in. It goes through a rubber washer, a regular washer, and then a Street 90 uh, gas connection, and then to uh, a barbed fitting that connects to my manifold. And then I got two um, valves on there and they go up and they connect to the kegerators or to the kegs I'm sorry and uh, and then you can see the back of the door there so they just go through the back um, this part it actually works out pretty well because what I can do is you see it sort of swings into position so this just sits on that the back hump of the fridge and then I can turn it on and off. The hard part is when I get another keg in there it actually makes it a little hard to get to but and I just put a piece of quarter inch or half inch MDF on the bottom so that these sit nice and level as opposed to on all these bumps and stuff like that and uh, now I'll show you underneath the stand. Okay and then the stand you can see I got it's just made out of two by fours and some plywood. I made it out of the two by fours just so that it would have uh, it could handle the weight of a full keg. And then you got my CO2 tank with the regulator and all it is is connected with this uh, quick disconnect so sort of like on your air hose and it goes up and through a hole in the back of the stand and from that hole it goes uh, up through the back and into the kegerator. Okay, so here's the back of the fridge. Hopefully you guys can see that pretty well. Um, this is where I had drilled the hole through the, the hump in the fridge, what you saw on the inside, and then I sealed up the hole a little bit with some electrical tape and then put a washer and then a coupler and then there's another barbed fitting that connects to my CO2 line. And then the CO2 line goes down and then into that hole that we saw in the back of the, the stand where you saw it going through. So there you go guys, my kegerator from the inside out. Hopefully you got some good ideas out of this uh, video to build your own kegerator. Um, there's nothing too fancy about it, uh, but it does serve its purpose pretty well. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and I'll answer them as best as I can. So I'll see you next time.